Uh, so what's TXA? TXA is a drug that's often prescribed in Europe to women with heavy periods, and it's been found really globally to slow down bleeding in trauma patients. The problem is that it hasn't really been studied well prospectively in the United States, and I think this is a great opportunity to combine a safe drug to a possible patient population that desperately needs something done early in their care. Starting this summer in Cincinnati, we're going to put TXA on our helicopters as a study drug. And the idea is that there's a question whether or not TXA does have um, an indication for traumatic brain injury, number one, and if it does, what's the right dose? So there are going to be three arms in the study, one getting a lot of TXA up front, one, the second arm getting one gram of TXA and then a second gram in the hospital, and in the third arm they're getting placebo. So again, it's a good study to decide whether or not TXA works, but more importantly, if it does work, what's the right dose? And I think that's the big question that people are trying to address in the United States. Most medical research is done with what's called informed consent, where you and the doctor can sit and talk about the risks and benefits of the potential new treatment, or if you would rather have just regular standard of care. But sometimes in an emergency, the time that it takes to do informed consent could actually harm you. So there's a set of guidelines from the FDA called exception from informed consent that in life-threatening situations, research can happen without the direct informed consent. In conditions like a traumatic brain injury, it's one of those cases. People can die from traumatic brain injury, which makes it an emergency, and frequently we have to treat the person before we can take time to have the detailed discussion to get informed consent. This upcoming trial, looking at transexamic acid, or TXA, for the treatment of traumatic brain injury that is given before you even make it to the hospital is one of these trials. We have done studies like this in our area before for people who have suffered a big blood loss from trauma or suffering from uh, really bad seizures and a previous trial of traumatic brain injury patients. Without studies like these, we may never develop a successful treatment for TBI because right now, millions of Americans are devastated by a traumatic brain injury every year, and unfortunately, we don't have a medicine to help them.